Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So while changing the map in the game, if the game is crashing, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to try DirectX 11 or Vulkan. Now for this, you can open File Explorer. You can do the same thing in game graphics settings. You can set it to Vulkan or DX11. But I'll show you if you're not able to launch the game, you can go to Documents. Once you open File Explorer, go to Documents and then open My Games and then open Path of Exile 2. Then open this config file, make a right click, open with notepad and scroll down. Now over here you can see renderer type DirectX 12. So if this is set to DirectX 12, you can just type in DirectX 11, then go to file, click on save. Now you can launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can even try this Vulkan, V-U-L-K-A-N. Vulkan and then go to file click on save and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work You can set multi threading to disable now for this In the same config file you can just type in multi threading You can just search for this engine underscore multi threading mode enable if this is enable you can just type in disable And then go to file click on save now you can launch the game and then check and you can do these things in the game's graphic settings if you are able to launch the game. Now the next step is to delete the config file but you will lose all the saved settings. So to delete the config file uh, you can go to documents once again my games path of exile 2 and you can just if you want to create a backup, you can copy this file and you can paste it to the desktop and then you can just make a right click and delete this. Once this is deleted, now you can launch the game and then check. If that does not work, in that case, you can delete the complete path of exile to folder from the documents. So you can just go back over here and then you can simply make a right click and delete this complete path of exile to folder and then you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to verify the game files now this is important do not ignore this make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is 100 percent complete now you can launch the game and then check next step is to set windows power plant to power saver so you can just type in control panel in windows search box and then go to control panel now go to hardware and sound, go to power options and then over here you will see power saver. So if you see power saver, select power saver. So if you see power saver like this, set it to power saver and then check. If that does not work, you can, you can even go for balanced or you can go for high performance, launch it and check which one is working fine for you. Now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now for this you can go to game make a right click select manage now click on browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder just make a double click try launching the game from here and then check if that does not work you can even try this exe file still not working make a right click on the game select properties and then go to this tab and then put a check over here and then select windows 8 this has worked for many players so it might work for you select it apply click on ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work again go to properties and this time Try Windows 7 over here. Uh, first of all, yeah, let it be Windows 8, but try this run as administrator first. Hit apply, click on OK. Make a double click, launch the game. If that does not work, in that case, you can just select Windows 7 and then hit apply. Click on OK, launch the game. If that does not work, put a check on disable full screen optimization. Hit apply, click on OK, and then check. Still not working, do the same thing with this exe file. So just first of all, try run as administrator, hit apply and then click on OK, launch the game. If that does not work, you can try this Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. You can even try disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Now, when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working. In that case, you can uncheck these boxes. Just uncheck it, hit apply, click on OK. Do the same thing with this exe file. Go to properties and uncheck these boxes. Hit apply, click on OK, and then follow the next step. Now, the next step is to 
allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you have any antivirus program like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file both the exe file to your antivirus program now if you're using windows security then open windows settings go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 if you have windows 10 go to update and security and then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app now click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder and then select both the exe file click on open again click on add an allowed app browse all apps select the second exe file click on open now type in control panel in windows search box and then go to control panel system and security windows defender firewall then click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings allow another app click on browse and then again select these two exe file click on open and then click on add in my case i have already added again click on allow another app click on browse and then select the second exe file and then click on open and then click on add in my case i have already added the game so once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver this is important so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download and let the download complete now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now amd users can first of all uninstall the current uh, graphic card driver restart your computer go to amd website select your graphic card and then update the latest graphic card driver and then restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card this is very important so type in graphics settings in windows search box and then click on graphics settings now click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder select these two exe file one by one and then click on add once the game is added so scroll down and find the game in the list now once the game is added over here click on this down arrow and then gpu preference by default it will be let window decide so select high performance over here high performance and you will see your graphic card select it and then again scroll up and then again click on add desktop app and then select the second exe file click on add once it is added now again scroll down and once you find the game in the list again click on the down arrow and then over here select high performance you will see your graphic card and then you can now you have to launch the game once again next step is to roll back graphics driver so for many users installing the older version has worked for i'll show so for nvidia first so go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system and then click on find and then click on view now over here uh, the latest one right now is 566.36 this is the geforce game ready driver right now so go to more version view more version and now for many users this has worked 566.03 so you can just roll back you can just install this 566.03 or maybe 566.14 but this has worked for many players so it, you can just click on view and then you can download this click on download and then you can run this exe file but make sure that you go for clean installation during the installation make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation after the clean installation you have to restart your computer and then you can 
launch the game now amd users can do the same thing you can go to amd website and then roll back your roll back to the previous version and then check now the next step is to update windows to the latest version now this has worked for many players so go to windows update and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game now for many users rolling back windows to 23h2 has worked so you can type in w i n v e r winver in windows search box and then you can check the version for me it's 24h2 now if you have 24h2 so for many users this has worked so you can try this to roll back you can just open windows settings and then go to windows update and then go to advanced option over here then go to recovery option over here and once you go to recovery if you this option go back is highlighted over here click on go back and follow the on screen instruction and then roll back to 23h2 and then launch the game and then check so you can try this next step is to turn off or turn on vpn now this has also worked for many players so if you're using vpn you can turn it off if you have it if it is already off you can turn it on and then check now you can skip this step if you're not able to launch the game but if you're able to launch the game you can try these steps so launch the game first so once you launch the game now you can go to options and then go to graphics over here now over here if direct x 12 is selected you can try direct x 11 and then click on yes to change the settings and the game will restart and then you can check you can even try welcome so for this again once the game is up and running you can go to options and then if that does not work you can even try welcome and then click on save over here now once it is saved now you can launch the game once again and then check now you can even try direct x11 if it was not selected before and then check which one is working fine for you next step is to uncheck multi-threading now for this you can scroll down Now over here you can see engine multi-threading, uncheck this box and then click on save and then you can check. Now also turn on or turn off vsync. So you can try this over here, you can see vsync, uh, you can turn it off and then check if that does not work, you can, you can even turn it on and then check, you can even select locked. So check which one is working fine for you and then make sure that you click on save also lock the fps to 60 90 or 120 now this has also worked for many uh, players so it might work for you so you can scroll down so here you can see foreground fps cap so maybe you can try uh, 120 over here or maybe 90 or 60 so i will just keep it at 60 and background you can just cap it at 30 maybe and then click on save you can try make changes over here and then check also try window mode and lower down graphic settings now before you do that go for dlss here you can see in my case nis default is working fine so if you're using uh, like dlss nvidia dlss in that case you can set it to quality you can even try balance so set it to quality and then save and then check if that does not work you can even try fsr if you are able to turn turn on fsr and then set it to quality but for me i will just set it to default so for many users default is working fine so you can try default save it and then check also lower down graphic settings like scroll down now if everything texture quality and everything is set to high you can set it to medium and in my case it's low if this is high you can try low over here you can try medium or low over here high you can set it to low uh, here you can see nvidia reflex i will just turn it off and then scroll up and over here you will see dynamic resolution you can turn this uncheck it and then save so try to lower down graphic settings and then check the performance 
also try changing the server this has also worked for many players so you, you can try this try changing the server and you can even try different region over here so you can just try different region and then you can check now the next step is to disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game so if this is on turn it off now also if you have like any other overlay application like discord running you can open discord go to discord settings and then turn off overlay if you're using geforce experience or nvidia app in that case you can open nvidia app and then you can go to settings and then you will see uh, this nvidia overlay if this is on you can turn this off turn it off and then launch the game also if you have if you're running any overclocking application like MSI Afterburner, Reaver Tuner, you can close these overclocking application. Also, if you have like any external devices like HOTAS, wheel, pedals, or if you have any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnected. If you have extra controller connected, disconnected, disable multiple monitor, try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any third party application or services running, close it. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel